Don't talk to me. Hey, Hello. Hey, Hello. Hey, Hello. This is Carl's least favorite thing, is when I spray him, like he's already getting ready. Can you not? Good morning guys, it is Saturday, August 1st and Today, I thought I would do another day in my life video because I just love filming these. You guys seem to really like them, so I might just do another one. We're just gonna do it. I have a really, really busy day today. We're getting the groceries delivered at 12.30, so that's like in the next hour and a bit. And then after that, I have to go get my eyes checked, so I'm going to the eye doctor. I haven't been for about like, I want to say five years, but I know it's probably been a lot longer than that. It's probably been like seven, eight nine ten years this eye has gotten worse like it used to be 20 20 vision but this eye i hit my head really hard when i was a kid and i remember like shortly after that my eyesight got really bad like i can't see far away and like when i'm staring at something with both eyes this side does all the work so if i go like this it's really hard to focus anyways i just need glasses and i've been avoiding it for a long time i just wonder what the world looks like with glasses on i'm really excited so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm also going to be dyeing my hair. Not any funny color, I'm just doing my roots. I have to tidy the house and try to get rid of the stains on the floor so we can get our deposit back because I don't think we're going to get a deposit back if I don't do anything about that. <laughs> it's definitely been a self-care week. I don't know if I should really talk about it, but I just turned 25 and that's the age where you have to go get your first cervical screening. <laughs> At least here in the UK and um, I was pretty terrified and I'm not gonna lie I wasn't gonna do it <laughs> but I was just like no one else is gonna tell me to do it it's up to me to do these kind of things so I just went and I booked it and I was really scared when I was a kid I used to go with my mom because she didn't have anyone to babysit me and I remember like I just saw her face and she looked like she was in so much pain so ever since then I've been terrified to go but you guys are like kind of pushing it back as well and you haven't gone like it's not bad at all like i was thinking it was gonna hurt like i thought it was gonna be real uncomfortable but it was not bad i didn't even feel anything like because they have to scrape you i didn't feel anything i was really surprised oh i'm also gonna be doing a big makeup shop as you guys know or you've probably seen in my makeup tutorials i don't really have a lot of makeup but i have a lot of full coverage makeup i want to go for something more natural Why did I shake this? It's a crayon. Pencil crayon. What if I tried this brow product as my lip liner today? Would that be weird? Let's try. People ask me, Megan, how do you get by with not buying much makeup? That's just because I use different products that aren't actually meant for that body part. <laughs> And I just go for it. I actually really like this lip. It's so cute. Okay, so I was just saying that I wanted to go makeup shopping today. So I actually bought some makeup already on Amazon. And let me tell you, never ever buy makeup products off Amazon, you guys. This is what was sent to me. So I bought this clear lip gloss from Rimmel. It was opened already it had no plastic seal i bought this as well i was really excited to use this it's the l'oreal glow cherie natural glow enhancer because i wanted to try a no makeup sorry a no foundation makeup look but this wasn't packaged either it was just already open i saved the best for last the next wonder stick i ripped this when i was opening it but it was already open because they inserted this little thing that was like thanks for shopping our amazon store inside the actual product hold up let me grab it yeah this was inside the package so it was already open and then when i took it out it smells like crayons it smells so weird and it has like a bunch of these little bubbles everywhere let me see if i can get close up So yeah, don't ever, ever buy off Amazon, you guys. You have no idea who's, idea who's, what, 
Did I speak in another language there? You have no idea who's actually selling this. Like, I could make my own Amazon store and just sell all my makeup. You don't know the seller unless it's like from an official store. The only thing that actually came packaged though was this, which I actually really like and I used it today. It's the Rimmel Jelly Blush. I really like this one. As the Zia. groceries look at that oh yeah okay i won't bore you guys with the grocery haul because i feel like i do that every single video but i pretty much just got the same stuff as i normally do if you haven't watched my what i eat in a week video i'll link that down below it shows like kind of what i eat throughout the whole week i didn't order that i've never had passion for this food. you guys carl's learned how to go down the stairs oh, he's gonna do it he's gonna do it go on Oh, use me as a... <laughs> oh, yay! Stop filming me. Oh, you wanna come up? No. Look at how tiny he is compared to everything in this room. Hey, you wanna go up? Yes. Where you wanna go? Stop talking and just bring me over the white wall. Wow, where are you? You're in the shower. Wow. You can go up here if you want. You <laughs> can't see. There's nothing out there. I like the light. I'm at the eye doctor now. So tired you guys like it's 6 30 right now we got home at about 5 and when we got home i literally sprawled on the couch I'm like i can't do anything i'm so tired like look how tired i am right now i make this a two-day vlog for you guys because i feel like i don't really vlog a lot today so anyways show you what i bought at super drug and boots oh there's my foot <laughs> so the first thing i bought were razors I couldn't find the women's razors, so I just got the men's. But to be honest, I think the guy razors actually do a better job than the girls. I got this. I wonder if it smells like crayons. Let's do a test and see. Nope. Girl. I'm so scared. What the hell did I get off Amazon? I got this, which is the NYX High Glass Face Primer. So I told the girl that I wanted to try like a really natural makeup look. So she said that this would be a really good highlighter even though it's a primer. Then the next thing I got was this NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Then I also picked up this collection Bronze Glow because if you guys have been watching my makeup tutorials, you'd know that I am almost run out of my Hoola benefit. So let me just swatch this. just want to see what it looks like. Oh, that's bronzy. Oh, that feels creamy. Then I got my L'Oreal Glow Cherie. And then I picked up the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C4. I can't remember my shade, so I just picked up that one. I actually canceled the return of this lip lacquer because um, when I was at the store, none of them were sealed. So I think it's trusting. And also it smells like a lip lacquer. Like yeah, it's, it smells like my other one, so I'm guessing it's fine. Cute. I'm actually gonna make beef broccoli, but with tofu. And I don't know if you guys already watched my What I Eat in a Week video, but I was saying how at this point that I was that it wasn't vegetarian because I was using beef broth. Well, this time I'm gonna use vegetable broth, and hopefully it tastes good still. Well, by the way, I'll, I'll link the recipe down below because it's it's pretty good. You guys are gonna want to try it. I'm gonna be using this. 
Straining and pressing will give extra firmness. What does pressing mean? Press on the tofu. Apparently that's what you gotta do. So I'm doing it. Where, where, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. I've never even done this in my life. So while that's pressing, I'm gonna make my sauce. I really really like that. Obviously, it's not as good as the beef, but it's pretty damn close <laughs> Good morning, so I just woke up actually I don't just wake up that's a lot I had to get up really early and wake this little guy up Carl what are you looking at I could ask the same thing so yeah, it's Monday Monday it's Sunday morning today, and um, I have a lot of homey errand things to do, which I don't know if it's going to be really interesting to film, but I personally like to watch these kind of videos, so maybe you guys want to watch them too. So, I'm going to open up my handy dandy book. I keep picking up July, but I know it's August. How sad is that? What day is it today? So, I need to clean. I have to go to Petsa home. And get waffles a wrap. I know it sounds really gross, but waffles need to eat too. Oh, I need to send notice to blank and blank. Here we are again. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm gonna be dying my hair now. Um, so. I wasn't planning to dye my whole head today because obviously I don't really want to have to do that every time but the last time I dyed my hair was June 15th and it's now August 1st so I think it's done pretty well for a month and a half it's still quite dark but it does have a lot of that red showing through so I'm just gonna go through with the hair dye that I bought last time I used a 3NA with a 6A but my mom said because it showed up quite ashy around my hairline, she said just to stick with the 7NA but add more to make it darker. So I'm going to do half 3NA and half 7NA and if you're like confused on what the hell I'm talking about. So the lower the number, the darker it is. So 3NA is quite dark. And then the 7NA was the color I was using originally. So there's like a mix like of reddish and ash tones in here. So I'll just try it and I'll see how it goes. I don't want to dye my hair. I hate dyeing it. But if I don't, I look like I'm going bald. <laughs> like, as my hair is so light, my hairline looks like crazy. No, I'm gonna have to do this all over again. I don't even think I have enough hair dye to do my whole head, though. Like, I do. <laughs> I'm just trying to convince myself not to do it. I just don't want to do it. But I'll be happy once I do it. I know. Okay, come on, girl. Don't be lazy. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Do the whole head. Sorry, my camera died, but I'm finished. Oh, God. Look at this big mess. <laughs> Ew. Look at that. Oh. Ew. Ooh, that smells so good. I've never ever ever in my life had this. Mmm. Smells... Oh, it smells like puke. What does your puke smell like? <laughs> Ew, look at the inside. Looks so alien. Sorry, don't mind me. I just got out of the shower. Why do I feel like I'm not gonna like that? It looks like that. Uh, what's that fruit that Coyote Peterson eats? The puke fruit or something? What if this is the puke fruit? Oh my god! Is it good? It's so sour! 
it's like an experience when you bite it it tastes really good and then you just like have an explosion of sour and then it kind of goes away and then you're left with like this acidic taste in your mouth just try it it's like a roller coaster to look at my face right now I look so freaking dewy. This is my no foundation makeup look. You guys need to get this. This high glass is what I used for my highlight today. Do you see that? How natural is that? This is like the perfect summer makeup. It's not even a highlighter, it's a primer. And then this is what I used for my foundation. And it looks just like my skin, but better. Before I go out, I'm gonna put on my sunscreen. This is... 50 plus because your girl is really pale and she's gonna burn. I actually get really embarrassed about going outside because I'm so pale. But then how am I supposed to no not be pale if I don't go out, you know? Okay. Let's go. Francesco's getting oh sorry, sorry. Francesco's getting the rat, and then I'm gonna go upstairs to check the locust. It's just empty. Never mind. Okay, we're now going into TK Maxx. Oh my god, they already have Halloween? How many people do you think know that I have a dead rat in this bag? Okay. No? What do you think I have in my bag if you were to walk by me? Oh yeah. I got an iced vanilla latte and a tomato mozzarella panini. There's no tomatoes in here though. It's supposed to be tomato panini? Mm. Mm. Oh, I see it. So while we were out, got some cleaning supplies and then we also got a delivery from Amazon at the door. I got this, which is Scotch Guard fabric and carpet cleaner. Apparently this is really, really good. I posted it in another vlog, but we had a table and for some reason the table stained the carpet. Like, I don't know how the table stained the carpet, but it did. Oh, so, like I've put baking soda on it. We tried a pet cleaner. We tried another carpet cleaner and nothing works. So I really, really, really freaking hope this works. And I'm actually gonna show you the results this time because in my last day of my life, I don't think I did that. It didn't work at all? <laughs> no. It doesn't look any different. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Magic eraser as seen on TV. Oh, it does erase it. Look at this. I'm officially 25, you guys. I'm vlogging about cleaning a damn house. Get yourself up here. How'd you get there? What are you doing? What are you doing on that shelf? Look at this little guy. Okay, well, I guess Carl's gonna cook with me. Just gotta flip this. Don't know. No. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Carl, no. <laughs> Carl, you really don't wanna go over here. I do what I want. I know you're interested, but it's dangerous. I don't know why, but he always wants to be here when I cook. Maybe he is like ratatouille. Maybe he spots that there's something wrong and he just wants to go for it. I'm gonna go eat and then afterwards, waffles has to eat. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we had dinner. I kind of fed waffles. Waffles doesn't really want his food. It's just kind of sitting there. I don't have a problem with feeding him rats. It's just like if he leaves them. I have a really bad horror story for you guys. So like last week, I was sitting in the living room and I could smell gas like 
gasoline it was really faint though and i was like that's so weird like maybe it's just from us like opening the window maybe it was from outside couple hours later the smell is getting stronger i was really confused because like the desk is here and like the only gas appliance that we have is in the kitchen so i was like why would it smell like gas here like that's really really weird the smell was getting so bad that i was actually really worried because i felt like there was a gas leak somewhere like i didn't know where it was but i was terrified i was like okay i feel like we should call somebody because this is not good so yeah i was like this close to calling the agency and letting them know that there was like a gas leak that we could smell from our room so what i did was i actually went online and i just looked up what to do if you smell gas in your house and i ended up on a cora forum cora or cora i don't know how to pronounce it so the guy was just giving advice like okay if it smells like this like check this check your appliances like blah 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 and he was like you should also check the walls of your house because it's also possible that a rat maybe died or a mouse died and it just hit me to check waffles tank because i fed him two days before so i go in there i open his tank and it was the worst smell and i was like so the reason why i didn't check his tank earlier was because two days before that that's when i fed him and you're not supposed to go into their enclosure or like mess about with them for two days after they eat because there's a chance they could throw up their food so i i didn't check his tank after i fed him but i didn't see the rat so i didn't think it was still in there so i lifted up one of the hides and there was the rat there and dude like when i say it traumatized me so bad to see a decomposing rat was like there was a fly in there i don't know how a fly got in there like randomly but there was a fly and it was like in its in its face like poor waffles was sitting in there for two days but why would he do that like he literally grabbed the rat dragged it into a hide and then he went to the other hide i'm gonna keep an eye on this one i'm gonna check tomorrow make sure he actually ate it so anyways sorry to leave you off on that really disgusting story but i just thought i would tell you because that's what happens in my life that i don't normally share so there you go i'm just gonna play dead by daylight now and then i'm gonna go to bed so anyways i love you guys thank you so much for watching my videos and i will see you next thursday bye